would like to inc uh, to invite everyone for an afternoon prayer. Let us all feel the presence of our Lord in the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord, we want to praise and thank you for today. As we hold this meeting, we pray that our parents will have a deeper understanding of our Play Sagradan program. As we are about to start the new school year with a new learning modality, Lord, we surrender to you the desires of our heart. Let the Sagradan learners be the center of our plans. We pray for provision, we pray for enlightenment, and lastly, Lord, we pray for harmony. We know that you alone are the only one who can spare us from this COVID-19 pandemic. Thank you for this opportunity to reconnect with our Sagradan families and even to our non-Sagradan families. All these things we ask in your most holy name. Amen. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good afternoon again and welcome our dear parents to today's online meeting with the school heads. I am Teacher Chris, I am the School Principal and Directress of the Montessori de Sagrada Familia and I will be the facilitator for today's session. And presiding this meeting is a fellow <coughs> school administrator. She is the Assistant Principal in the Pre-Elementary and Elementary Departments and she is also the <coughs> Program Head of the Play Sagradan or the Parent-Led Learning Approach for the Young Sagradan Program. I have with me today is Mrs. Maria Mrs. Maria Carmela S. Ong, Teacher Kai. Good afternoon, Teacher Chris. Good afternoon, everybody. It's very nice to be presenting to you all today about our homeschool program, which is Play Sagradan Program. Okay, so to our dear Sagradan parents, who are here, I know that a lot of you are very uh, eager to know more about uh, what this uh, homeschooling is all about. So just to give you a background, we really did not intend to have a homeschool program, but the COVID pandemic happened and uh, based on the, the results of the survey conducted last April, uh, we, we saw in the results that there's this high interest of uh, the majority of the parents, especially in the pre-elementary and the grade three, uh, for the ch uh, parents to <clears throat> try homeschooling their children this school year. Uh, and we also acknowledge that uh, to you, this could be the safest or this could be the most practical because uh, well, a lot of us, uh, majority of us have been affected by the COVID-19 uh, economically as well. So we understand that a lot of families are looking at uh, many alternatives. Now, when we saw the data, we felt that we also have to adjust our school program. Uh, the Montessori de Sagrada Familia has been in the service of delivering face-to-face um, -face instruction for, uh, for, almost, uh, for more than 23 years. And because of our current situation, we also have to be flexible. That's why uh, we are very blessed because uh, our speaker for today uh, is an advocate of the homeschooling. Actually, on a personal note, uh, she is my sister. And I would like to take this uh, opportunity to, to share with you that uh, she ha homeschooling has been one of her heart's deepest desires, even prior coronavirus pandemic. However, because we we are both working moms and we have a school to run um we realized that it would be very challenging for her to do homeschooling and so she kept on praying and uh she still uh you know she she kept on praying to the, to the lord and uh she still uh she still included homeschooling in uh her list of uh, her faith goals and you know god has been very very uh faithful to her in terms of her heart's desires because uh you know during this pandemic uh we saw that uh there is a market for homeschooling and uh so 
we told I, I told her I personally told her why don't you put uh, why why don't we uh, create a homeschooling program and that's why the play Sagradan came in the picture. So I will just be the facilitator, just like what I said. Uh, the homeschool advocate of Montessori de Sagrada will be the one to to explain to you the nitty gritty of homeschooling because we all know that this is a new thing for us kaya po, it's very recommended that before you you get into this new learning modality this is an uncon uh, unconventional learning modality it's very important that you get to know first the entire picture of it because according to teacher kai it's extremely different so without further ado i would like to present to you our speaker for today, our program head for the parent-led learning approach for the young Sagradan, otherwise uh, also known as the MDSF Play Sagradan. I have the honor to present to you. She's not only my sister, she is also my best friend, one of the greatest influencers in my life, my go-to person at work and uh, in life. Uh, I would like to present to you our dear parents, Mrs. Maria Carmela S. Ong, also known as Teacher Kai. Teacher Kai, take it away. All right. Thank you, Teacher Chris. Can everybody hear me? Okay. Uh, whenever we ask questions, whenever we we ask for audience involvement, uh, please feel free to use our chat box. Yes. So that we can, okay, all right, loud and clear, all right. Thank you, Teacher Chris, for that wonderful introduction. Um, Teacher Chris mentioned a lot of things about uh, me and homeschooling. And um, aside from those things that she mentioned, I would like also to acknowledge Teacher Chris for being the one, for being uh, the, the brain behind this um, acronym play. Siya po talaga yung nakapag-isip nung, mag, nung magiging tawag natin sa, yes. sa program. We couldn't sleep that night. Yeah, I, I remember. <laughs> yes. nag, nag message po kami mga 1 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> yeah. Just to really be able to come up. Because we, we wanted, catchy. yeah, we wanted something catchy and something that will, you know, uh, that will uh, have this, you know, MDSF Sagrada. Right. Sag, yeah. Yung pong, known din po kasi yung school to be, uh, to be coming up with those para mga playful, catchy na mga acronyms. So we have this play Sagradan. And Teacher Chris um, gave emphasis in her introduction about homeschooling as something, as a mode of education that is really not a walk in the park. Actually po, uh, tama po yung sinabi ni Teacher Chris, when, uh, siguro po ang, ang kagandahan lang po kasi kaya din ako naging super interested about homeschooling is first, I'm really a teacher at heart kasi po simula po ng aking college degree hanggang sa aking MA, pareho po silang early childhood education. And then ngayon nga po, medyo ngayon lang po, medyo nalihis at napunta po ang aking PhD sa educational management and leadership na tinawag naman po because ever since my sisters and I started becoming very much involved in the operations of the school, kaya po nakita namin yung need. So, uh, tama po yung sinabi ni Teacher Chris, every, oh, I, I, by the way, I have two kids po, uh, their names are Martina and Elias. So, ever since po nung first born po namin, si Martina ay nag-nursery or ang tawag po namin ay junior casa sa MDSF, talagang there was a strong uh, desire to, to teach them. Kaya lang po dahil since uh, hindi po ako, ad, nasa admin po ako, so hindi ko po sila talaga magiging under- Nagkaroon talaga ng, in my part, dream to be the one to to educate them. So, yun nga po, uh, ngayong pandemic, actually, hindi, ka, hindi talaga maganda at all yung yung COVID-19 na uh, health crisis natin na na-experience ng ating mundo. But then, sabi nga po nila, it's really, uh, it's really just, you know, matter a matter of perspective, right? You sometimes you just have to step back keep things in perspective. It's how you look at things. So sa household ko po, ang ginawa namin, we, we, parang we just look at this pandemic 
really as a blessing in a lot of ways. Pero yun nga po, ang hindi lang kagandahan ay talagang merong mga mga uh, mga naapektuhan na uh, when it comes to sa health po talaga ay hindi rin talaga siya maganda. Pero yun nga po, meron pong reason ang ating Lord dyan. So, uh, ngayon po dito sa school, uh, we are very, uh, very much honored to add an additional to our educational programs, to our academic programs na sinaserve po ng ating uh, minamahal na MDSF at iyon nga po yung play. So, just to give you uh, an overview, actually, baka po meron dito sa atin na umatend na kanina nung, nung first session natin. So, yung today's session po natin ng morning, uh, Teacher Chris explained very well, as in there were a lot of parents who were enlightened dun sa uh, home-based e-learning program natin. Yun po yung nakikita natin sa screen, yun po yung nasa right. So, ano po bang pagkaibahan nung um, home-based e-learning program na kanina naming in-explain no morning. At ano naman po yung homeschool program na i-explain naman po natin today. So, ang home-based e-learning program ng MBSF, yun po ang tinatawag natin na Fly, Sagradan, Tsaka Safe. Ang Fly, Sagradan ay ang home-based e-learning program para sa mga junior kasa and grade 3. Basically, yun po yung mga nasa lower grades. Ano naman yung safe or yung sagradan access to flexible e-learning? Basically, it's just the same. Ang kaibahan lang po, kaya po namin idaba siya, kasi po para naman po siya sa grades 4 to 12. Kasi po, uh, even though yung framework po niya ay pareho, yung pong kailangan ng adult supervision, dun po sila basically nagkakaiba. So, yun lang naman din po yung difference. Pero nasa umbrella po sila ng home-based e-learning program. Ngayon po, for this afternoon session, we are going to further elaborate on the homeschool program. So, ito nga po yung Play Sagradan or ang parent-led learning approach for the Young Sagradan, which is a program offered to junior casa until grade 6. So, for everyone's knowledge, kasi baka meron po tayo mga parents dito na hindi taga MDSF, yung junior casa po namin, yan po yung nursery namin. So, we call it junior casa. For nursery, ang senior nursery po namin, we call it advanced casa. At yung pong level before grade 1 is yung kindergarten. And then grade 1 hanggang grade 6. Yun po ang, ang, ang levels na meron ang play sa gradan. So, ito po yung mga key points natin. Ito po yung overview kung ano-ano po yung uh, mga pag-uusapan natin for this session. So, I called it what, who, why, and how. So, first... I will be presenting what is Play Sagradan program. Next, who will benefit from this program? Third, why choose Play Sagradan program? Fourth, if I choose Play Sagradan program, how will I facilitate it in our home? And then nga po, yung kaninang minention ni Teacher Chris na, na, na uh, survey, at least I'm sure all of us here uh, were able to answer the survey form, kasi po hindi po tayo makakapag-register kung wala nang survey form, yun po yung mga, uh, dun sa other concerns, yan po yung sinagot natin yung mga uh, questions ninyo. Okay. So, Teacher Chris, okay. I'll start. Oh, Teacher Kai, first question, what exactly is the Play Sagradan program? Okay, so, as we've been mentioning uh, plenty of times already, Play Sagradan stands for parent-led, L is for learning, a is approach for the, and then ya, Y is for young, and then sagradan. So it's play sagradan. Chirka, I think the 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 highlight or the the main key word in that play sagradan is the parent led. Yes, yes. Because remember, that. yeah, yeah. Re later we will be discussing why teacher Chris said that. Okay. Okay. What is Play Sagradan program? Okay. So it is a school's homeschool program which aims to enable and empower parents in the facilitation of their children's education. So, paulit-ulit po nating sasabihin, it's going to be the parents who will be the teachers of their children. Who will benefit from this program? So this program will cater those families who would like to have a more flexible and personalized education addressing the varying needs of their children and schedule and lifestyle of the families. So this program is best suited for parents 
who have the inclination and passion in undertaking the role of a teacher to their children. Yes. So, teacher, Kai, when you say personalized education, <clears throat> kasi yung flexible kanina, nung represent kami, flexible in terms of the time and schedule. Right, right. Uh, and just in case there is a uh, uh, power outage or a poor internet connection, mm -hmm. that's what you call flexible. Mm -hmm. But this one, when you say personalized education, since there will be that the teach uh, the teacher will be the parent, it is up to her how she will be designing right. the learning right. experience of her ch of the children. That's right, okay. teacher Chris. So so ang pinaka uh, very important keyword po dito dun sa sinabi nga po namin na play is parent led. Okay. All right. So who will benefit, benefit from, from this, this program? program? So this is the best mode of education for families with first. Uh, stay-at-home parent or parents, uh, those families with parents who have the inclination to teach and those who have teaching experiences. So, katulad po ng, ng aking case, since teacher ako, medyo edge ko na po na, na magiging homeschooling mom din ako sa mga anak namin. Pero, again, I would like to remind the, the audience na hindi lang naman po itong homeschooling na to, hindi, siya, well, hindi naman kailangan na na ang major mo ay education yung course mo para makapagturo. Pero mamaya, papakita po natin yung qualification. So, I already mentioned a while ago, ang, ang, ang offer po ng ating program na to ay from junior casa to grade 6. So, yan po yung mga uh, three-year-old children hanggang grade 6 na mga sudyante. So, itong program din po nito ay para sa mga pamilya with teaching parents with strong desire and commitment commitment to teach their own children. Bakit po nakakapital po yung strong desire? Oh, Kasi ha, kailangan talaga nandun yung, yung kagustuhan mo. Kasi in the middle of the school year, actually, may time teacher Chris dun sa ating regular school. Sometimes uh, parents would be, you know, looking for after school uh, tutorial services. And then I will ask them, bakit? Pag, pagdating sa bahay, pwede naman na ikaw na lang magturo sa, pa, para at least mak uh, makasave pa. Pero minsan sinasabi kasi ng parents, nako, every time na nagtuturuan kami, nag-aaway lang kami. So, dadating po talaga yung time na madami-madami kayong ma... To those families, lalo na po, I, I believe dito sa ating um, um, session ngayon, meron po tayong mga parents na nag-homeschool na. So, sila po, they can actually attest to this na talagang in the middle of the homeschool journey, lalabas at lalabas po, you will really get to know your dynamics ng yes. pamilya. Not just parent and teach and yung mommy teaching parent or your child pero yung talagang buong uh, family it's yes. really a, a family thing kung baga and teacher kai uh, when you aside <clears throat> from the strong desire what as a school administrator one of the traits that a teacher uh, should possess if you will be the one in charge of your child's education is patient. Right, right. Uh, kailangan talaga yan yung you will be able to to be responsive to their never-ending questions. Yeah, right, right. right. You also have to be creative. That's, that's really important. Yes, you have to be resourceful and uh, dapat talaga mahaba yung piece. Right, right. Later, Teacher Chris, we will be showing them videos of homeschooling families at nag, naglagay din sila nung ano ba yung mga quality sana nung mga teaching parents na, na sana magturo nito. Okay. So, ito rin program na to, it will benefit those families with varying schedule. Yung talagang hindi, medyo, hindi, paiba-iba talaga siya. Yes. Tapos, because there are no outside force, right? right? right Unlike right. in the play, uh, in the fly and the safe, na may teacher's presence, na meron kami mga virtual meetings, na fixed yung schedule. Ito, any time of the day. Right, right, right. Really That's how it. flexible it is po. Yes. So, ito rin po ay uh, magandang mode of education for children with special educational needs. Yan po yung may mga ASD, yung pong sinasabi na merong autism, spectrum, Meron pong mga ADHD, yung mga attention hyperactive deficit disorder. Magandang maganda rin po ito kasi talaga pong magiging customized yung approach nung teacher or nung teaching parent dun sa kanyang, based dun sa learning style, learning needs nung kanyang anak. And tamang-tama din po at pwedeng-pwede din po ito sa mga pamilya na may multiple children kasi meron po ako nabasa na isang question if I have multiple children or children more than one, 
pwede ba na na okay ba sa amin tong homeschool na to kaya lang po for for parents with multiple children talaga pong mas magiging parang ano lang parang yung preparation din ni, ni parent magiging parang multiple din siya however there will be instances like teaching of life skills mga meron pong mga comp na mga common na mga mga topics na pwedeng for sharing na pareho si na kunyari uh, isang batang 5 years old tapos 7 and then si kuya 8 pwede po yun may sharing time muna sila wag muna pag-usapan yung talagang very yung highly academics yes maybe some parents they do ano bible devotions first yeah. or uh, teaching them how to brush their teeth yes. or to set the table yan po mga practical life skills Yan po yung kagandahan ng homeschool. Talagang ang world mo, ang classroom. Yes. No? So if you are the mom and you have multiple children, you it's as if you are really running a class. Yes, okay. yes. And and so and cool. there are a lot of parents, ako po personally, I, I, I know these parents, na talagang nagagawa po talaga nila yun with flair. Oh, All nice. right. So why choose Play Sagradan Program? So, why or why choose um, MDSF as your as your homeschool School. provider? Yes, teacher. I think you also have to yeah. uh, to explain to them the concept of homeschool provider. Yeah, actually, yung pung MDSF since meron po kami uh, nagstart po tayo sa regular or yung traditional school setup. Um, kami po ay magiging homeschool provider niyo dahil nagkaroon kami ng homeschool program. So, mamaya po, ipapaliwanag ko yung difference dun po sa independent homeschoolers at saka mga nag-homeschool na naka-enroll sila sa homeschool provider. So, katulad nga po nung case natin. So, why, do you, why should you choose MDSF as your homeschool provider? So, first, uh, we have equipped homeschool advisors. Bakit sila equipped? E first year pa lang naman. Kasi po, itong po mga teachers na to, ang mga magiging homeschool advisors po per grade level ay mga matatagal ng mga teachers. Meaning, ang homeschool advisors po kasi sila yung magiging support. Pag kunyari, hindi na alam ni, ni mami paano ba ituro to or medyo uh, after googling it, parang medyo hindi pa rin ganun ka-confident si, si teaching parent. So, ang mangyayari po, po, pwede po na mayroon po tayong mga scheduled na mga consultation with uh, homeschool advisors na magbibigay po ng suggestion sila. Okay, and then parent training will be conducted by credible homeschooling parents and trained educators. Actually, ito po very excited kami kasi yung ibibigay po namin na mga training, we will make sure that katulad po nung ginagawa namin sa regular school namin, we make sure na mga ang ina-outsource namin mga resource speakers ay talagang credible. And then we are gonna be a learning community since this is uh, gonna be this is the first time uh, of implementation itong program na to magiging learning community po tayo or learning organization. What does it mean? So we will be very very open to you know uh, constructive feedback, just like fly and save. Kasi ito nga po yung first year din natin na sa home based e learning program natin na first year natin nagagamitin yung online as a uh, uh, our main platform for uh, instruction delivery. And then, you should choose us because, as we all know, MDSF has been known for its excellence in providing quality services for more than 20 years. And then, yung curriculum po natin, I'm sure there, there are a lot of parents wondering, ano po yung curriculum na gagamitin natin? So, katulad lang din po nung sa regular natin, we will make sure that we are in compliance of the learning competency, competencies um, required by the Department of Education and more. So, ibig sabihin, as private institution, meron po kasi tayong karapatan na mag-enrich pa dun sa curriculum guide na binigay nila for as long as we are in compliance dun sa minimum learning competencies. Okay, so how will I facilitate this program in our house? Ngayon, parents, uh, nilagay po namin siya sa isang sa dalawang at least table looking ano po to parang organizer na rin. So sa left makikita niyo po ang tasks of parents and sa right ito po yung mga tasks ng homeschool provider or kami po. So kung makikita niyo po 
uh, the length of yung yung first column natin sa parents and yung second column natin sa school parang magkasing haba lang po sila. However, we would like to give emphasis doon sa bigat niya. Kasi po, although yes. mas magkasing haba po siya, yung pong bigat ng ng magiging responsibility. Ang sabi nga po natin kanina, it's gonna be a parent led. So, talaga pong much of the facilitation of learning will be na kay parent po, na kay teaching parent po siya. So, okay, isa-isahin po natin siya. Okay, yung first po ay si parent ang mag-introduce and teach the concept listed in the course outline. Yung course outline na sinasabi po natin na to ay ipoprovide naman po ng school. Later on, I will be showing you a sample. And then next, the parents will be the ones to come up with skill building activities that will enable the child to understand the concepts. So ibig sabihin po nito, after natin i-introduce ang isang topic, mag-iisip po tayo ng mga enrichment activities. Paano ba niya talaga... Ay, sorry po. Nawala yung... No, Miss Kath? Yes, sorry. I'll just, ano lang po, I'll just present again. Okay, just a reminder to our dear parents, kindly refrain from pressing the present button. Only the school heads are allowed to present the presentation. Yeah. All right. Okay. Yan. All right. Teacher Kai, I can see some parents. And so are really uh, listing down nice. their notes. That's so nice. They yeah, are po. so eager. Right, right. Yes. right. And They're... you know what? It, it, it makes me so happy. Kasi po talagang, sabi nga po nila, ang homeschooling, it's an advocacy talaga. So I'm sure lahat po nang nandito, kung tama po yung pagkakaintindi nila kung ano ang homeschooling beforehand, talaga pong ibig sabihin, nandun po yung strong desire natin na tayo po yung maging teacher ng mga um, ng mga anak natin. All right. Going back, um, aside from um, designing the activities, kunyari, ang, ang, ang lesson, ang, ang lesson na nakalagay sa course outline ay addition. So, si parent, siya ang gagawa, siya ang mag introduce ano ba ang addition, siya yung kukuha ng mga supplemental activities or resources, gagawa ng mga worksheets or maybe manipul yung manipulatives para ipakita niya paano ba yung addition. So, aside from coming up with skill-building activities, you will also be the one to assess and monitor the learning of the child by giving your children different assessment tools such as practical and pen and paper assessment. So, siguro po yung iba dito parang magugulat, talagang kami, kami yung magbibigay sa kanila ng mga seat works, mga uh, worksheets, quizzes, even performance, uh, even uh, yung mga projects, even yung mga um, petas or ang tinatawag kong performance tasks, assessments na napaka-importante po sa DepEd. Kayo rin po yung mag-iisip nun. However, we know dear parents na uh, lalo na for, for newbies or yung mga first-time homeschooling families, I'm sure... Um, Parang baka po yung karamihan sa inyo hindi pa ganun ka-confident. Paano ba yung ginagawa nga ni teacher na ganun? Paano ba nito? Don't worry because we will be providing um, um, parent trainings in the middle of the school year. So for this uh, school year, we, have, we are planning to give at least uh, one parent uh, training for every quarter. So we have four quarters. Don't worry with, when it comes to technicalities, even support groups, we have that. Uh, ipoprovide po natin yon, And then, after the assessment, the children and the, the parents or the teaching parents will also do quarterly parent and student-led portfolio review with the homeschool advisor. So, basically, ito po, kung walang pandemic, ang magiging practice natin ay um, pupunta si teacher, uh, pupunta si parent and si child sa school to uh, meet with the homeschool advisor and then they will be presenting Yung portfolio, kasi po, from time to time, kailangan i-picture ninyo ano yung ginawa niya or dalhin yung mga worksheets na pinag, pina, uh, na sinagutan. Tapos, i-compile lang po natin yun. Tapos, i-explain lang po natin paano siya ginawa. Pero because of the pandemic, ngayon po, virtually po natin siya gagawin on, uh, through our 
learning management system na mamaya po ipapakita din po namin. And then ito po, this is the one that I was uh, mentioning a while ago and this is optional. The parents may also provide other supplemental learning materials. So sa teacher Chris, sa ano, sa sa online, super dami naman din na open educational resources na pwedeng yes. gamitin din ng mga parents yeah. para um, matuto din yung mga anak nila. Yes, that's the advantage that we can get now from technology. Right. And right now kasi, since be before po kasi, dear parents, uh, prior to the pandemic, uh, homeschool was not mainstream. Uh, uh, there, there was only a minority of group that was practicing homeschooling. Probably, ito po yung mga anak na mga pastors or a family of missionaries because of their lifestyle and preference. But now, more and more families are doing homeschooling because they think that because of the pandemic, this is the best approach for their children. Right. You're right, Teacher Chris. Actually, di ba po, kung mapapansin natin, uh, Actually, may ano eh, yung homeschooling, before ang talagang thinking natin, ah, para lang siya sa mga anak na mga church leaders, yung mga missionaries yes. na very kailangan nila ng flexible mode of education kasi na, na ano yun, naglilipat so sila, sila from sa one sa place, sa yeah, geographically, malayo po talaga yung mga nating nila. And then, para kanino pa before yung homeschooling, usually naririnig natin ang mga nagaganito, yung mga celebrities, ganyan. Yes, kasi, kasi nga, schedule. schedule nila. Pero because of this pandemic, lalo na po dito sa Baliwag, yes. Bulacan, I have to say, talagang hindi po ganun ka-open before yung mga Fine. parents or families dun sa sa ano sa homeschooling. Yes. Sa Manila po, uh, I can attest, napakadami na pong homeschool yes. providers doon kasi talagang na-open na yung mind nila. Yes. And maybe, teacher Kai, because a lot of parents now have already uh, chosen to work from home. Right, right. That's why nandiyan na yung... Yung mga home-based na mga yes. businesses or mga works, talagang ano to, pasok na pasok talaga din to sa sa homeschooling. However, let's not be limited to yung mga ganun lang po. I mean, ako, I will be working. So, mamaya po pakikita natin how flexible this mode of, mode of education is. Alright, so tapos na po tayo sa tasks ng parents. Let's go to the tasks of homeschool provider or tayo po. So, first, we will be providing the course outline and the books or yung mga textbooks po natin for every subject. Learning materials. Learning materials. And then, we will be administering quarterly tests. So one quarter test for each quarter, which is equivalent to four uh, quarter tests per school year. So teacher, can <clears throat> these, these quarterly tests uh, cover the topics provided in the course outline? Right, right, right. Okay. okay, and then we will be giving feedback. Yung sinasabi po natin dito na quarterly uh, parent and student-led portfolio review, si homeschool advisor po ay magbibigay naman ng feedback kung paano nila to, kung paano pa makakapag-improve yung, yung, yung teaching parent dun sa pagtuturo dun sa bata. Ano pa yung pwede nilang improve when it comes to designing the performance task, sa mga seat work, sa mga skill building activities. And then there will be a scheduled parent-teacher consultation. So why scheduled? Kasi po baka po mamaya, sinabi namin parent-teacher consultation, pero mamaya, 10 o'clock, nagtuturoan pa ang parent and student, tapos medyo merong hindi, 10 o'clock in the, in the evening, and then merong hindi makuha si, si child. Yung pong ganun kagabi, lalagyan yes. po natin ng talagang policy structure. guidelines yes, para po we will be protected. At yes. malalaman po natin, kailan ba yung i-open ni teacher, kailan siya po pwede for consultation? Yes. And then next we have the um, the the monthly huddle with students. The homeschool advisors will be uh, gathering uh, the students online, para po just to you know have this kumustahan session. This will not be a session wherein topics will be taught. Kamustahan session, kamusta na? At least para nag ano din eh, it's some sort of socialization. Kumbaga po yes. at least yung mga batang iisa lang sila sa bahay. Meron pa rin parang mayumanize pa rin parang katulad ng sa fly and safe natin. Pero ang fly and safe po kasi, everyday nilang makikita yes. yung mga teachers nila. Yes, that's the difference. That's the difference. Okay, and then, we will be, I mentioned this a while ago, we will be providing parent Training. trainings. Okay, so, in a nutshell, parang ito po yung magiging parang step-by-step step po natin. First, 
the course outline will be given by the homeschool provider. So may link po to, I will be clicking on this kasi mag, magpapakita po tayo ng sample na ipamimigay namin course outline. Yun yung magiging basis nyo, ano ba yung mga ituturo nyo sa yes. mga bata. Next, after namin ibigay, uh, the, the teaching parent will teach the concepts by first, designing and providing skill building activities and learning experiences. And then next, Again, this is optional. You may use supplemental resources and teaching tools na for sure ay makakatulong po talaga dun sa, sa, sa pag-iintindi ng bata dun sa concept. So after po ni, 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 ni teaching parent ituro ito, magkakaroon po tayo ng assessment. So sa parents part, excuse me, the teaching parent will assess the child's learning by giving graded assessments. So, <clears throat> bakit po graded assessments? Kasi po, dahil po homeschool provider nyo kami, kami na po, just like the children or the students enrolled in a, in a regular school setting, yun nga po yung sinasabi natin, fly and safe, um, ang kagandahan po ng may homeschool provider kayo ay para din silang naka-enroll sa ganon dahil when it comes to papers. Yes. So, bakit graded? Kasi magsasubmit pa rin po tayo sa DepEd ng mga nire-require nila na mga, uh, na mga papeles. So, isa nga po dyan for ay... For promotion. For promotion. So, dire-diretso po yan. Mamaya i-explain ko po yan. But teacher, kay <clears throat> the grading system will be different. Yeah, also. yeah, opo. Kasi katulad po nito... Dito sa parents' part, magugulat po kayo na kayo din po ang magbibigay at kayo din po ang mag-grade. So, mm -hmm. mamaya po, uh, I will be really emphasizing one of the uh, most uh, important ingredients dun sa, sa para maging successful po tong homeschool journey na to. Mamaya po, sasabihin po natin yon. So, first, you will be giving them written works. Uh, pwede pong quizzes and seat works. And then you will give, be giving them performance tasks assessment. Don't worry, maybe some of the parents medyo no overwhelm sila sa mga, yes. sa mga terms na to. Right. But don't worry, uh, we will, yun nga po ang sinabi natin, siguro ang kagandahan po sa atin, meron, nang galing po tayo, meron po tayong regular school. So, ang mga magtuturo po ng mga technicalities na to ay mga teachers din po. So, wow. wag po kayong mag-alala at so, tuturuan po so, namin kayo. Guy, the parents will also be trained how to come up with performance tasks, yes, yes. the rubric, yes, yes. how to grade them. Yes, okay. that's right, Teacher Chris. So, yes, but the grading mm, part, si parent na yun. Si parent. So, tuturuan din po namin kayo kung paano. And then, uh, this is yung assessment of learning in the parents. And how about the assessment of learning in the house? Uh, homeschool providers part. So kami naman po, since uh, kami po ay magiging support to ensure learning in the end of the, the, the school para masigurado namin na may learning na nangyayari sa bahay, yeah, mag administer po kami ng isang quarter test per quarter. So yung pong dun sa course outline na ibibigay namin sa inyo, makikita nyo na rin po doon kung kailan yung test na kailangan yung paghandaan. Tapos magbibigay din po kami ng mga pointers to review. Actually, Teacher Chris, this is supposed to be two tests in a quarter. However, dahil nga sa yes. itong pandemic na to, yes, parang it's, a compressed, it's a compressed schedule talaga. Just like in Fly and Safe, no? yes. talagang yung sinasabi pong most essential, essential learning competencies na binigay ng DepEd, magfa-follow din po tayo doon. Alright, so lastly, after the assessment of learning dun sa ating quarter test, magkakaroon din naman po ng portfolio review report. So, ito po ay magiging parent and uh, student-led, parent and child-led uh, portfolio review report with the homeschool advisor. Ito po yung sinasabi natin na kailangan po i-compile nyo lahat ng mga, kunyari po for math, meron kayong isang clear book for, for uh, uh, science, meron kayong isang clear book Pwedeng isang clear book for everything na po kung kaya. Pero po kailangan or, uh, very well organized siya. Tapos, kailangan yung bata makikita ng homeschool advisor na alam niya. Kunyari po, merong mga uh, friends ako na nag-homeschool. Um, ang naging parang project nila or performance task assessment nila is all about um, buying stuff sa grocery store. Ayan. So, dyan, tuturuan namin kayo, paano ba yung isang project na yon Paano nyo ba 
tutuhugin na doon ng math? Paano nyo ba tutuhugin doon ng science? Paano ba nyo tutuhugin doon na may English na rin? Kunyari, English is all about reading labels, mga ganyan. So, kailangan po makita ng homeschool advisor na talagang yung bata yung, kunyari, si, si, si bata, na, nag, nagawa si mami ng list and then uh, look for the following uh, groceries or look for the following stuff. Uh, two cans of ganyan. So, kailangan pag tinanong naman si pere, si child, alam na alam niya na talagang yun yung ginawa niya. And then, after this portfolio review, of course, the how the homeschool advisor will be giving a feedback. Paano pa bang uh, ma-improve ni parent yung kanyang pagtuturo dun sa bahay? So, parang sort of coaching, Teacher Chris. Yes. And Teacher Kai, uh, may I also add, <clears throat> um, as the uh, homeschool parents, or ano yung tawag, uh, the teaching parent or yeah. the teaching caregiver uh, as uh, as he uh, administers the activities together with the child and as the child does these activities, um, for every accomplishment or for every accomplished um, work, the work could also be uploaded right. in the learning management system right, that right. will be provided. Kaya kahit po yung portfolio ninyo ay nasa sa inyo, uh, yeah, upload po natin siya for the homeschool advisor to see the progress of the child. Right, okay. okay. So there's a question. Will will there be a regular meeting, say once a month between the homeschooling child and teacher? Yan po yung sinasabi natin kanina na magkakaroon ng monthly huddle. So for every month, meron pong isang time na igagather po ni homeschool advisor per grade level yung pong mga bata. Yun po yung sinasabi natin kanina ng kam kamustahan session. Yes. Parang Ano, pero not tracking of their learning kasi po ang isang session will be very very short para po kamustahin ni teacher yes. yung nasaan na sila eh. pero yes. yeah sometimes oh where are you now nasaan yeah. na kayo sa course outline na binigay ito po yung sinasabi nating course outline na ibibigay namin however wag po silang malula ito po kasi since our teachers are currently in the in the um, stage of curriculum mapping based on the most essential learning competencies. Can, ang sinasabi po namin most essential le learning competencies na binigay ng DepEd, ito po yung kaka-release lang. Kailan yes. lang po talaga. Na kinompress nila dahil nga po sabi ni Secretary Briones, hindi magiging enough yung time na ibibigay natin ngayon sa mga sudyante para makover nila lahat back-to-back uh, -back yung yung okay. curriculum guide na nasa online. So ngayon po, ito po kasi based on last year pa po. So malamang po ito, medyo talagang mababawasan to based on MELT or yung most essential learning competencies na sinasabi po. And then teacher, Kai, this is for the first quarter. Yeah, this is only for the first quarter of a kindergarten pupil. So ito yung, kunyara, dito titingin si parent ano ba yung mga kailangan niyang ano, aralin, yes. ganyan, ano ba yung sunod-sunod. Tapos magbibigay po tayo ng Pag nakita, kasi po ongoing pa rin po yung discussion namin when it comes to the pointers to review na ibibigay natin dun sa quarter test. Ito po, let's say, ang binigay namin na quarter test ay September 30, 2020. Ngayon po, online pa rin po tayo magbibigay ng test. Through the learning management system na sinasabi po namin ni Teacher Chris, dun po kami magbibigay ng online test. Okay. All right. So, the other concerns, ito po, kinumpile namin, kinulate namin all the questions that you, our dear parents, have. Uh, para po ma masagot namin. O, yan po yung grading system. Uh, ngayon po kasi, ang, ang DepEd ay hindi pa po nag, nag, naglalabas ng uh, yung bago nila, o implement, right, teacher case, implementing guidelines dun sa pag-assess ng learning ng mga bata. However, for the meantime, ito po yung magiging uh, parang hatian ng school tsaka ng, 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 ng bahay. So, part of the parent training, teaching parents will be taught how to enter grades, how to compute or how to even grade uh, the pupil's uh, performance or hard or work. The grade of the child will comprise of the following. So first, we have the written works, yan po yung mga quizzes and seat works, which will be designed and graded by the parents. And then next, we have the performance task assessment or the PETA. Yan din po ay ide-design at i-grade the parents. So yan po, isasubmit nyo lang po sa amin through our learning management system. Yung, uh, doon nyo lang po i-enter para meron na po tayo doon na parang uh, magiging computation, parang automatic na po siya. And then for the summative test, yan po yung sa school, 
uh, nagagawin muna natin online and then magkakaroon din po tayo ng portfolio review. Online din po yan. Naigigrade din po ng school. Actually, Teacher Kai, that question was also raised by, clarified by Ma'am Jennifer Mangalu. Right. Parehong payaw po yung mga tinanong niya. Yeah. I think Oo. she also already has an idea. Right, right. Okay. okay, so for the enrollment requirements, so we will be uh, requiring uh, the, the families to submit uh, an original copy of the PSA birth certificate of the student, original copy of latest report card from previous school. N take note po na yung report card with learning, ito po ang report card na may learning reference number or LRN for grades 1 to 6 students. So, ito po, ikaklarify lang po natin, bakit po grades 1 to 6 students lang? Yung LRN or learning reference number, yan po kasi yung nakalagay dun sa report card ng mga anak ninyo kung nanggaling kayo sa isang traditional school. So, meron po silang nilalagay doon LRN number. Yan po yung kailangan natin para po ma-apply pa rin po natin siya as a regular student of Montessori de Sagrada Familia na ipapasa po natin sa DepEd. Bakit mula grades 1 to 6 lang? Kasi po, ang LRN sa LIS ng, ng, ng or yung learning I forgot mamaya nandiyan po yung yung ibig sabihin ng acronym ng LIS pero yung system po nung nung DepEd na yon nagbibigay lang po ang DepEd ang entry level is kinder so for example ngayon po mag-homeschool kayo magki-kinder yung anak ninyo kami po ang magpo-provide sa inyo nung LI nung LRN na yon so if you have any questions please uh, feel free to use our chat box para po ma-clarify natin. And then lastly, we will be needing the teaching parents transcript of records or TOR or diploma, pero photocopy. Bakit kailangan to? Actually, this is uh, a culture not only, practice not only in the Philippines, but uh, uh, a practice na, na ginagawa na po ng mga homeschool providers sa ibang bansa. Kasi po, just like our teachers, we have to, to at least this will be our, one of our ways to ensure na uh, at least capable, not to demean po mga parents na hindi nakatapos ng college. Kaya lang po, hindi na po kasi namin talaga matatrack yung, yung learning ng bata. At least, at ma masisigurado namin na matuturuan talaga dahil sa nagkaroon siya ng experience nung simula nung, 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 nung maliit siyang sudyante, palaki, papunta nung college siya. Okay. okay, so enrollment procedure. So first, kung makikita nyo po, ang enrollment natin ay nasa third uh, stage. Bakit? Kasi po dahil nga po itong homeschooling, again and again, I will be giving emphasis on this. This is an advocacy. Hindi lang po ito... Uh, personally, as, as someone na na-experience na din po ang homeschooling at maraming uh, families or maraming friends na, na nag-homeschool, this is really not a walk in the park. This is extremely different. Hindi po, kat, lalo na po kung nasanay po kayo na just sending your children to school. Nako, uh, yes. Iba po siya. Talaga pong uh, yung magiging... Kaya po talaga every time I... I, I, I meet homeschooling families, talagang saludo po talaga ako. Kasi alam ko yung sobrang hard work. Mahirap pong mag-juggle ng maging teacher ka, tapos at the same time, parent yeah. ka. So it's a commitment. It's really a commitment. So kaya po namin nilagay na merong pre-parents orientation, tapos interview of the family. Kasi we have to make sure na yes. nandun yung desire. And yes. yung family dynamics, we have to make sure talagang bibigyan ng time. Kasi po, hindi wala pong teacher na mag-check daily yes. na natututo yung bata. And we also have teacher kay with uh, with all due respect right, to them. Right. We also have to make sure that they are equipped right. not to not for anything else mm -hmm. but to really ensure that uh learning of their child will really take place. Right, right, that's process. right. Kasi baka po mamaya it could be a knee jerk reaction right. na uh, we have been, that's right. uh, we have been uh, financially or economically hit and this is our uh, this is our option now. However, but if kung wala naman po talaga yung desire, yung commitment, yung tiyaga, please don't think that we are discouraging you. We just want you to think this hundred times, not only to, with yourself, but to your spouse as well, to your children as well. Kasi the relationship of the child and the, the parent will really matter here. Right. Because uh, will the it, will it be okay with the child na wala na siyang, uh, for the entire school year, wala mo na siyang masyadong ma makakausap na ma 
sa online na yeah. classmates, okay lang ba sa kanya yon Or okay ba sa kanya na ang teacher niya ay ang mommy niya or yung daddy niya or yung uh, tutor, caregiver. If it is okay with the child, mm. then good to go. Right. Okay. Actually, we do not discourage naman po. Kasi yung iba, I, I honestly, I... I uh, I was informed na yung iba po nagtatanong, what if we just hire a private tutor? There's nothing wrong. But personally po kasi ngayon na na-experience ko talaga na mag-homeschool, actually, ang history po ng homeschool nang galing po talaga yan dun sa nanay. Alam niyo po yung dati, parang hindi pa parehong parents ang ang nag, nagtuturo. Nag, if we're gonna take a look at the history, talaga po itong homeschool, kaya nila sinabi, Na, na it really works. Ito po yung time na yung mga nanay, sila talaga yung nagtuturo sa mga anak nila. Baka po kasi ma-defeat yung purpose nung sinasabi nating homeschooling. Kung, you know, para lang, yung ibang parents po kasi, yun nga po, sinabi ni Teacher Chris, medyo na-displaced nung panahon ng pandemic na to, para lang makatipid. Tapos baka po kasi, hindi natin sure eh, yung, iba po kasi talaga pa rin yung puso. With all honesty, I will be speaking in behalf of my household. No? Iba po kasi talaga yung pagtuturo pa rin nung, at yung pagtsatsaga ng, ng nanay or ng tatay dun sa, sa bata. So, mas maganda po, ideally, mas maganda teaching parent pa rin, pero nasa sa inyo po iyon. I would like to clarify lang po, can, may I just go back to the previous slide? Yung sinasabi po natin, teaching parents, transcript of records or diploma, wag po silang mag-alala kung hindi po teaching ang tinapos nila or any education na course. Again, I'll repeat, kahit po ano, basta po meron pong TOR. Not necessarily po na, uh, na kayo ay teacher. Alright? Okay, so after the interview and the parents orientation, um, pwede na pong mag-proceed sa enrollment. Ang enrollment po natin, pwedeng physical and pwedeng online. So, uh, Ms. Kath, can you please send uh, the link dun sa ating enrollment, dun sa chat box? Thank the you. The registration form. Yeah, the registration yes. form. And then, after the enrollment, here comes the parents' orientation part 2 or the onboarding. So, ano po ito? Online meeting din po ito. Pero ano kaibahan sa introduction? Introduction, check lang po muna namin talaga bang ito, ito kasi yung mga gagawin nyo. These are the things that you have to expect. At least, bago nyo talagang, before you jump into the pool of the homeschooling ano journey, you have to make sure. Pero ano yung part two? Ito naman po yung getting our hands dirty already. Yeah. Nandiyan na po yung mga teachers natin. Tuturuan na kayo paano ba mag-design ng, ng activities? Paano ba to? Ano ba yung pwede kong gawin? Papakitaan nila kayo ng mga sample academic weekly planner na pwede nyong gawin. Ang difference lang po dun sa fly and safe, teachers ang nag-feed yes. sa parents ng mga academic weekly planner. Ito, from Monday, very de detailed. Kahit mga worksheet, uh, kahit ano, project, anong gagawin, skill building, skill building activities, nakalagay po yun sa Academic Weekly Planner na nasa fly and safe. Dito naman po, tuturuan namin kayo, nasa sa inyo po yun, kung gusto nyo rin po siyang gawin sa bahay. Kasi it will be very helpful for the whole family na meron kayong plan ahead of time. Yes. So, since uh, the teacher, the MDSF teacher is not in the picture, uh, what we can do is, uh, we will be equipping the parent to do it but at the end of the day, it will still uh, be in the hands of the teaching parent. We will just guide, unlike dung po sa safe and fly, that it's the other way around. Right. The teacher will be the one to design all the learning experiences. Yeah. And then, um, iga guide naman po ni, teach, uh, ni parent or ni caregiver yung bata to do it. That's right. Yes. That's Kung right. Po, um, Yung mga gagawin ay hindi na po pag-iisipan ni parent dun mm -hmm. sa safe and fly. But right. in our play, uh, sa gradan, uh, dun naman po papasok yung creativity, yeah. yung knowledge ni parent. Kaya din, teacher Kai, um, if you are a lifelong learner, right, right. it doesn't mean, you don't have to be a teacher. If you, if there is this, uh, in it, if it's all, kasi ako, I, I have met a lot of uh, people na uh, just like my husband, uh, he is, uh, he's 34 years old already, but he keeps on discovering things. Uh, he loves science, he loves to mix things, and he loves trying, trying out new things. So, 
I can see that he has a sense of a lifelong learning, sense of discovery. So if you are that person and you don't want to stop learning, then that is, then you could be, you are a perfect candidate right. of homeschooling. Right. At saka, ang, actually, Teacher Chris, naalala ko lang, let me add something yes. to what you said. Yes. Ang kagandahan din po kasi nung sa homeschooling, kung talagang nandun yung, yung desire natin, passion. yung passion natin, yung drive natin. Ang kag- ako po ngayon, I'm homeschooling my, 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 our two kids. Actually, we are homeschooling. Actually, dapat po, ito ay napag-usapan ng mag-asawa. Yes. Kasi po, it's really Kasi a family thing. It's really a family thing. Actually, kami po nung asawa ko, ang napag-usapan din po namin, when it comes to physical education, dahil po sporty din po yung mga asawa namin, when it comes to physical education, siya naman, para ano to eh, partnership, actually kailangan po ng, uh, ng strong support din po nung buong pamilya. Yes. At uh, ang kagandahan din po sa homeschooling, you can search about it also yung mga yes. benefits nito. Ang kagandahan nito, teacher, sobrang makikilala mo yung anak mo. Pati yes. yung learning styles niya. Yes. Sobrang, ako po ay, we have two kids. Kitang-kita yeah. ko yung difference ng learning yes. uh, styles nila na yung isa, Pwede siya for traditional, yes. pwede siya for project based or yung mga ano, yung pangalawa ko naman po kailangan lahat maituro mo na creative ka dapat uh, kailangan mahilig po ka siyang mag-create. So ang ginagawa namin sa lahat ng mga topics namin, ako pong bilang mommy, kailangan kong ano yun, yun i-address yon na palang yes. kailangan mag-isip ako ng ma-target ko tong parts of the body na nagki-create siya, parang ganoon. Yes. Teacher Kai, that's what I was going to say. Since it is the approach is very personalized, right. unlike in the safe and fly that the teacher uh, planned the activity for the class, since it, the the parent is uh, gets the parent gets to design the learning experiences in the mind, considering that when she was uh, planning these learning experiences, ang una niyang iniisip is yung strength right. ng kanyang mga anak. Right. So, all the more na very personalized. That's right. That's right. Uh, very tailor-fit sa mga anak. Kami niya, alam mo yung mood ng anak mo. Right. Alam mo yung interest niya. Alam mo yung kung ano yung magpapamotivate sa kanya. And at the same time, since there is really no teacher in the homeschooling, your relationship yes. will be deepened. Nako, well. later on, makikita nila dun sa mga videos. And okay. ma- ma-feel nila, we personally know these families, yung yes. papakita po namin sa inyo, may inspire din tayo. Yes. So, ayan, what's the difference between fly and fly or safe and play? Ayan po, madaming madami na nagtatanong dyan. So, please feel free to uh, manually zoom yung pong mga gadgets nila kasi po, kayo po yung makakapag-zoom para lumaki siya. So, sa left ay yung home-based e-learning natin or yung fly and safe. Yung fly and safe, ito po basically ang pagkakaiba nito. Yung sa left, yan po yung may teacher, yan po yung i-feed lang namin kung ano po yung mga gagawin nila. Tapos may virtual meeting na mangyayari every day. Not all subjects, iba-iba po yan. May, sub- may, may schedule lang bawat subject. Pero, Meron pong mga synchronous session or tinatawag nating virtual meet at uh, vi- virtual classes. Doon naman po sa homeschool play kung makikita niyo ang advisor, ang pagiging facilitator niya ay 10% lang pero si parents 90% po siya. So again, uulitin po namin ang magiging uh, kumbaga talagang nasa inyo dear parents or yung mga teaching parents Nasa sa inyo ang mag, ang ang bola ngayon, ang magiging success nung nung learning nung mga anak natin ay nasa sa inyo po. So for the books sa home based flexible procurement of books will be applied this school year dahil nga po sa pandemic, we allowed po yung mga borrowing or using of uh, uh, utilizing of used books. However, may nagtatanong bakit sa homeschool hindi? Actually, ang talagang uh, one of the main reasons at nag-consult na rin po kami sa mga um, homeschool providers, they also do this why because ito po yung isa sa mga sa mga pag-ensure ng school na may learning materials po talaga kayong gagamitin kasi po hindi nga po namin kayo araw-araw ma-i-check. Pero again, you can supplement other uh, mga resources. Tapos po, ang kagandahan din po, meron tayong Scholastics Prime English Program. Ito po yung parang e- uh, e-library. Kung alam niyo po yung uh, very famous po to na, na, na uh, literacy-based na program, yung Scholastic. Included po siya both sa home-based and sa homeschool din po. Magbibigay po kami ng account niyo para meron kayong e-library. 
Tapos, yung student support. How about yung library, counseling, and testing? Actually, li- uh, count- sorry, wala po yung library dyan. Counseling and testing, student wellness, included po siya. Doon po kasi kay, kay homeschool, included po ang library dyan. Pero not ang counseling and yung student wellness. But the library is included po. Kaya po, mamaya makikita nyo, included din dun sa tuition fee na babayaran ninyo is yung ID kasi ni-require po kami ng DepEd na dapat meron kayong access sa library namin. So, okay. Yan po yung sa LRN na sinasabi natin. Wala po kayong magiging problema dyan. Ipoprovide po ng school. Para po, just in case na next year, next next school year, ma-realize nyo, ay nako, hindi na kaya ng schedule ko. Uh, pwedeng pwede po siyang bumalik nang wala po magiging problema sa papers niya. How about place of learning? Home-based po kami for this school year 2020-2021 sa Fly and Safe. Homeschool, it's home. Actually, the world is the classroom. Nasa sa inyo po yan. Pag na-lift ang restriction at nawalan na ng case, kahit nasaan kayo, yan po yung kaganda ng homeschool. Actually, I've known a lot of families, homeschooling families na uh, they go to a lot of different places. Hindi sila talaga yung parang traditional na upo, uh, nag-aaral sila. They, they just, you know, travel kahit dito sa Philippines and that's when they they in- integrate yung learning ng mga bata pag nasa labas na sila. Parang very experiential. So, yun ang beauty po ng homeschooling. Okay. So, parents orientation, both included po yan. ID included. Access to school fa- facilities included po. Yun po yung sinabi natin. Ang ano po yan ay yung library. And then, curriculum. Ito po, tingnan nyo po yung difference niya, no? Talagang dito po sa home-based e-learning, talaga pong medyo talagang madami. Lahat po halos talagang i-feed na lang po talaga dun sa mga families. Dito naman po, talagang kayo po yung gagawa. Ang talagang ibibigay po namin ay yung course outline based on the DepEd curriculum guide and yung online summative tests with guide review. Guide for review, rather. And then yung sa scholastic reports at track learning of students, ito po yung mga report cards. Uh, actually, we will be having report cards also dito sa homeschool. Pero, uh, mas, ano po siya, para mas relax po tayo dito kasi kayo na nga po yung mag-grade kasi doon sa, sa mga anak ninyo. Tapos, magkakaroon po tayo ng scheduled parent advisor consultation. And then for LMS, pareho po yung included. Some schools, they use mga uh, generically used uh, learning management system like Edmodo, uh, meron Google din pong Classroom. Google Classroom, pero po sa atin, gagamit po tayo ng LMS kasi po, uh, first, actually, ang tinitingnan din po namin kasi yung magiging security din nung, yes. nung mga users, kayo po yon So, ang kagandaan po sa learning management system, sa atin yon tayo po ang nagpap, ang, ang, ang administrators doon, at uh, magagawa po natin siya, kami po, ma-i-design po namin siya doon sa pangailangan ng mga taga-MDSF. Yes. And teacher Kai, if I may add, kaya po, dear parents, a while ago during the online meeting for our uh, safe and fly parents, uh, makita po talaga natin yung difference in terms of the curriculum, the very reason why the tuition fee in the fly, in the fly and safe programs are higher than the tuition fee in the play is because of the presence of the teacher. Kaya kung sino man po sa inyong dalawang mag-asawa ang magiging teaching parent dito sa homeschool, humingi po kayo ng sweldo sa inyong asawa. <laughs> Kasi mahirap po talaga yung gagawin ninyo. Okay. Mahirap na very oh, fulfilling. I have to very say. Very fulfilling. Yeah. Uh, very heroic. Very. Right? It's it's really a noble, actually, it's a noble thing to do. Yes. As the mom or as the dad, naturuan mo talaga yung yes, anak mo. Yes, because some parents, you could be just, uh, you know, continuing your job yeah, right. or running a business and here you are devoting 100% of your time. Right. Not only to be the care provider of your children, but also the education right. provider, right? So, hats off po kami. Ngayon pa lang, hats off na right, po kami. Right, right. So, yun po. For a grade level offering, we have sa, sa home-based e-learning across all levels po siya. However, dito sa homeschool, since this is our first time, um, in-offer muna po namin siya from junior casa until grade 6. So, junior casa, advanced casa, kindergarten, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 
Alright, ito na po yung sinasabi ko kanina. Anong pagkakaiba ng independent homeschooler versus sa isang family na nag-enroll sila sa isang homeschool provider or parang kami po? So, ang difference po, meron po kasi akong mga kakilala ever since na nag-nursery yung anak nila hanggang sa grade, depende, ang naging, yung kakilala ko po hanggang sa na grade 1 or grade 2 yung anak niya, independent homeschooler po siya. Ibig sabihin, tinuturuan lang niya yung anak niya Pero hindi sila naka-enroll sa homeschool provider. Dati po, nung una-unang panahon, yung independent homeschool, halos lahat po ay independent homeschoolers. Kaya lang po, nung ngayon na, uh, nung nag-start yung K-12, to actually, naging parang simula din nung nakilala ni DepEd yung homeschooling as one, of, one mode of uh, education also for children. Uh, nagkaroon na nga po, dyan na po nag, naglabasan yung homeschool provider. Kasi po, ang nakikita nilang problem, yung mga bata, pag nag independent homeschooling ka, tapos pag babalik dun sa regular school system, parang dun po sila medyo na lost. Ang ginawa po ngayon, uh, yung mga homeschool providers, para po kasi kayong nakapasok din sa regular school, lahat ng papers ninyo, uh, hawak-hawak po namin. Yung mga grades, may grades din sila. Dito po sa mga nag independent homeschooler na binabanggit ko nina, na grade 2 yung anak niya, nung mag-grade 3 yung anak niya at gusto na po niya munang ilagay sa, sa regular school setting, ang ginawa po nila, ito po yun, the child has to take the PEPT or the Philippine Educational Placement Test if enrolling to formal school system. That's no problem po. Actually, ang gagaling din po talaga ng mga independent homeschoolers, minsan lang po nagkakaroon din sila ng parang feeling na, ay, tama ba yung, ano, yung, yung ginagawa ko sa bahay, ginagawa namin sa bahay? Kasi talaga pong karamihan ang nag independent homeschooler, uh, uh, nag independent homeschooling, DIY po talaga sila, do it yourself. Ang kagandahan po pag meron kayong homeschool provider, para pong yung confidence na I'm, I'm on the right track kasi merong uh, homeschool provider na Na nagsasabi sa'yo na, oh, you're you have, guided. Yeah, you, you have a go-to. Right, right. Go-to hub. Right, right. That. And you don't have to take that PEPT uh, when the time comes that you have to uh, bring your child back to the regular school setting. So, parang nga po yung sa amin, sa MDSF, parang ganon. Wala pong magiging problema. So, Teacher Kai, after completing a homeschool uh, a homeschool year, yeah. uh, and uh, the child is able to uh, pass the quarterly right, exams, right. Uh, do the All performance the task, and uh, according to his grades, okay siya, yeah. he will be promoted to the definitely, next Definitely, definitely. Ito yung nilagay po natin na guaranteed promotion to the next level for as long as the family complies with all the requirements and act. Uh, all the enrollment and academic requirements. So, yan nga po, your child is like enrolled in a regular school. So, yan po yung kagandahan when you enroll in a DepEd accredited homeschool provider. So, I I, I, I can see dun sa, um, I saw in our collated questions, nagtanong, T-shirt ka, yung po bang DepEd, yung po bang uh, school MDSF is DepEd accredited? Actually po, nakasubmit na po lahat ng papers natin and based on the the person, medyo magdugo po yung pagsasubmit ngayon, pero ang kagandahan po kasi, sinabi ng DepEd ngayon, dahil sa pandemic, talaga pong basta isubmit lang natin lahat ng mga kailangan, more or less, parang maybe may I quote na rin yung ating uh, officer in charge po doon, talagang 100%, mabibigyan po tayo kasi po, uh, yun nga po, naipasa natin lahat ng requirements and uh, ang kagandahan po, meron po kasi tayong regular regular school Ang, yung pong nakalist nila na mga requirements, napakadami po doon na naging one of our advantages, eh meron po tayong staff, meron po tayong mga credible, lahat po na mga sinabmit natin na mga uh, uh, yung para masabi na credible yung mga homeschool uh, staff natin, nakapasa po doon, nandyan po yung dapat let passer na mga staff, ganyan, wala po tayo naging problema. Pati po yung the whole implementation plan, talaga pong pinagpuyatan po namin yes. ni Teacher Chris yun. So, nakapasa na po on process, actually in Baliwag, they said that uh, yung po mga nag, nag, wala pa po silang talagang 100% kasi po, ano yun eh, pinabilis lang po talaga nila ngayon 
Pero, yes, because of the pandemic. So, na nakaprocess po. And actually, with you, as your program staff, Hindi naman din po kami sa MDSF na you know, kuha lang ng kuha ng ng ng, ng enrollees with all honesty, uh, if you're not so comfortable, i-out po namin once na mabigyan na tayo ng ng uh, ng permit officially, but if you're if you're more comfortable enrolling your child in our play program pag nakapasa na po tayo, wala pong problema. Ang kagandahan lang po, at least naihain na yes. po namin yung talagang implementation plan natin. And I think, teacher, kay the reason why uh, DepEd is not giving us a hard time yeah. with, the sub with the program submission, right. the program implementation, <clears throat> is because they need homeschool providers. Right, Because That's right. that is going to be their... How do you call this? We are also one of their arms, right? Right. right. Um, we they have they are already anticipating that more and more because of the pandemic, more and more uh, students are going to be uh, uh, transferring to That's right. the public school. That's right. So instead of them uh, having an influx of students, mm -hmm. what if they give up? Uh, uh, educational institutions, the leniency to offer more learning programs. Right. And one of which is homeschooling. That's right, and that's right. Nilagay yun ni Secretary Briones mm -hmm. na hindi lang online learning ang option. It right. could also be homeschooling. That's right, that's right. Thank you, Teacher Kiss, for that. So, ito po, another question is, how can we move up to the next level next year? So, ito nga po yung sinasabi natin, for as long as you are able to excuse me, to comply with all the um, academic requirements, uh, lahat po ng requirements ng school, yung kanina nating pinakita ng mga enrollment requirements, wala po tayong magiging problema. Okay, another question, Teacher Chris. May we shift? Uh, yeah, this is uh, so, expected. May from, we shift to... From, from. Or from... May we shift say, from play to fly or safe program in the middle of the school year? So answer guys, what if... Napasubo pa lang ako. <laughs> yun, yung parang kala ko pala kaya ko tapos in the middle of the school year. Oh, hell! Or, or maybe sa mga parents, sometimes may mga parents parents din na medyo, medyo nagpahinga muna sila sa work. Tapos they have to go back yes, to work. Yes, yun nga yun din sinasabi namin. What if it's also time for you to rebuild yeah. your business, right? So the answer is yes. However, appropriate fees will apply because they have different uh, yeah. tuition fee we will be paying for the services to the teacher and please don't take note that when shifting from fly or safe to play in the middle of the school year no refund will be made yeah. like for example and also uh yung pag kailangan po talaga siguro decided the decided that tayo kasi baka mamaya uh, nag play tayo tapos mag magse safe tayo and uh fly, uh, tapos uh, wala na palang slot. Right. Okay. Possible po kasi yun. Uh, kasi dapat din sa flexible e-learning dun po sa safe and fly natin, uh, kailangan din po, limited din po ang uh, uh, class size. Right. Okay. So, ito pong no refund will be made. Ito po ay based on nakabase po yung policy, school policy natin dun sa manual uh, yung regulations for private school um, institutions po. So, check po nila yan na meron pong certain amount, kunyari po for the first few ganyan, meron pang refund, pero pag parang lumagpas po yata ng mga two weeks, basta wala na siyang refund na mabibigay. Kasi po, mas malaki po yung babayaran nila sa fly, tsaka sa safe, compared po dun sa sa play. So, kaya po namin sinabing no refund, baka po sabihin kasi ng parent, oh, doon na ako sa play, sa homeschool na ako. Ano na, kailangan na. Kasi po, we have to understand na nung nag-enroll po kayo sa fly and sa safe, ni, um, ano to, um, ni reserve na po ng school yung slot na yon para sa mga anak ninyo. Kaya hindi na po, kumbaga sa inyo na po yung slot na yon. Okay. A lot of parents are wondering, how many hours per day should we allot for homeschooling? Ito po, alam nyo, napakaganda nito kasi very flexible siya. Some yeah. parents, you know, mamaya po makikita niyo yung isa sa mga mga bata na nag-homeschool. She niya na nung grade 5 siya, 
four hours ang ang turuan a nila a day. Oh, oh. Kindergarten, meron akong alam, at least one or two oh, hours. Oh. Parang depende po talaga. Yes, Kaya, kasi teacher ka dito nga papasok yung si parent, gano'n ba siya ka, ka, ano to, yung, gano'n yung, yung threshold niya for, for example, this learning experience. If you, okay, may mga parents na, Okay, for as long as I see that my child can already answer this activity, I'm okay with right. that. But there are also parents who want to enrich the learning experience. Yan na yung medyo napapahaba-haba. Right, na yan, right. Diba? Tama, diba? tama. Nag-enjoy right, sila yung dalawa. Right. So, talaga pong kayo po ang gagawa ng script when it comes to homeschooling. Saka po talagang magiging depende po talaga yun sa ano. Meron pong mga, actually meron akong kilala mga working parents. Um... Yung mga bata, mga, yung, actually we call it sa fly and safe independent study eh. Minsan po merong parang uh, yung care, caregiver nung nila, sinusurvise yung mga bata from Mondays to Fridays dun sa mga paunti-unting mga kailangan nilang sagutan or gawin. Pero ang homeschool time po nila ay Saturday and Sunday. Pag kunyari po both parents are working, uh, corporate office, ginagawa po nila yung Saturday and Sunday. Talaga pong nasa, yun ang yes. beauty niya. Yun ang beauty ng homeschooling. At, oh, yeah. teacher, ito ang pinakamaganda talaga. Once a good foundation has been laid, the need of adult supervision decreases as the grade level progresses. Actually, ito yung talagang can't wait to happen dun sa, can't wait to happen moment namin. Yun ang pinakahintayin ko dun sa, sa mga anak namin. Yung, sabi kasi, at nakita ko rin sa mga friends natin na nag-homeschool na habang yung bata, kindergarten, grade 1, yung pangangailangan niya kay teaching parent, malaki-laki pa. Talagang medyo prompted pa yung bata. But as they progress, talagang... Magiging self Oo, oh, oh, self-learners. In fact, teacher Chris, humahaba, dumadami ang subject nila, lumalalim yung, yung kailangan nilang pag-aralan. Pero, yung need kay mommy or kay daddy parang sandaling-sandali na lang, okay, uh, ito lang mga gagawin mo, then bahala na yung bata. Pag lang may tanong yung bata, tsaka lang siya kailangan. This works for children, for families na may more than one children, yung madami. Yes. Kasi minsan ang nangyayari, si kuya na high school na, minsan siya na yung nagtuturo yes, dun sa bata. Yes, may ako na gano'n. Right, na ang galing-galing. Yung mga kuyas and ates, sila yung nagtuturo. Right, right. Kasi napagdaanan na nila yun. Or medyo right. tinatamad na sila. <laughs> Joke lang. Okay. All right. This is a sample wow, ng school schedule right. of a kindergarten pupil. So, ito po kinuha natin sa isang friend po natin na nag, nag ano na nag-share from 8 to 15 morning routine. Parang kumbaga nag-stick pa rin sila sa parang meron talagang um uh, merong school. 8:15 to 9 math, 9 to 9:45 English, 9:45 to 10 break or recess. 10 to 10.45, science. 10.45 to 11, wrap up. 11 to 12, free time. 12 to 1, lunch time with the family. And then 1 p.m. onwards, free time ulit. Pero minsan, pagka Mondays, to fr Mondays and Fridays, nag-music and PA day sila. Pero ito pong sample na to ay very flexible. Yes. Pwede niyo po yung... Pwedeng habaan. Pwedeng issue. Yes. yes. Kahit nasa sa inyo po yan, depende po talaga kung gano'n din kabilis yung anak yes. ninyo. Okay, the goal of homeschooling is to enable the children to have that genuine love for learning which will lead them to becoming independent learners. So, ito po, panoodin po natin yung video. Okay, one of our yes. homeschooling um, friends. Ayan po. So, ito yung tinatawag natin na network right. teacher kai. Hi everyone! We are the Likuds. My name is Joy and I'm a mom of two awesome children. That is Air and this is Snow. Hi, my name is Air, and I'm 13 years old. Hi, my name is Snow, and I just turned 10. Thank you so much, Kai, for inviting us to be with you today. We are a homeschool family. We have been homeschooling our children for almost eight years now. In the beginning, we decided to homeschool them because we were in the process of moving, and homeschooling made it easier for that transition. But through the years, we've discovered that homeschooling really works for our family. Now, I started homeschooling when I was about five years old, and I remember I uh, kind of enjoyed it because I only had to do uh, like two, two hours, hours a day, but since I've gone to grade six to eight, it's got cranked up to four hours a day, which is really, really, really long. I'm going to be in grade five soon, and I love homeschool because I get to study at my own pace. I don't feel rushed to learn. <laughs> 
<laughs> in Proverbs 22 6 it says train up a child in the way that he should go so that when he is old he will not depart from it this means that our role as parents is to guide our children to proper education proper schooling training and so on and so forth teachers and tutors and coaches and counselors are our partners in rearing our children but ultimately, it's the mom's and the dad's responsibility to make sure that our children is in the right path. When I was in grades one to five, my mom was my teacher and she is still my favorite teacher. Mm -hmm. But when I was in grades six to eight, I, I slowly learned how to do my own schoolwork. My mom is teaching me to be independent so I can study in the future on my own. I am slowly learning to study by myself without help. Uh, my mom is a stay-at-home mom and her only quality to teach is being patient. Teaching can be very challenging, but, but mom and my dad knows that, our, that their, their goal is to help guide us into God's purpose. If you're starting homeschool, one tip I have for you is to have fun. Make most of this opportunity. <laughs> Good job, Eric. Good job, Snow. Thank, Thank you. you. What I love about homeschooling is I get to see how my children progress and succeed right before my eyes. I love how they're growing and learning and I get to be creative along the way. Homeschooling can be challenging, yes, but as you see your children grow, you will have this desire to teach them more, to guide them more, and ultimately I believe that God will be the one to provide to guide you and to lead you in how to do this. Uh, we are so excited for you as you go through this endeavor. God bless you everyone and, and thank, thank you for watching, watching this video. video. All right, thank you Likods. So, kung makikita niyo po, sinabi ni Air kanina nung kuya na nung una short lang daw, pero nung nag-read 5 daw siya, Naging four hours, pero kay Air, sabi niya parang very long na yun, teacher Chris, no? So, pero kung makikita niyo po, actually, uh, I know this uh, I know this family, and talaga pong pag nakita niyo rin yung mga bata, maa-amaze din po talaga sila dun sa kung paano din ma... Actually, not just academically, pero kung paano po talaga yung mga bata makipag-usap, yung values, yung, yung character nila. Teacher, can I add? Yeah. Because... Uh, at first, uh, well, prior to the coronavirus right. uh, pandemic, uh, when you say homeschooling, parang na medyo na we doon yung community kasi, ha, yung mga bata hindi makikipag-socialize mm. or yung mga bata hindi papasok sa school. So, right. ano, parang medyo skeptical yung mga parents. Right, right. So, ngayon, um, we can see the products right. of uh, these homeschooling methods. Mm. And, well, it doesn't actually promise that if you are going to homeschool your child, you will also get the same results. But based from what we are seeing, because you know, the parent is really very hardworking, yeah. very uh, hands-on, very dedicated, Nari-reap naman niya right. yung kanyang uh, hard work. And studies show talaga, teacher, guys, it works. Pero yun nga, wag nating i-expect na yung yung fruit nito ng isang family same din parang yes. ganyan iba-iba iba-iba yes. iba talaga siya if in order for you to be, to bear or right, to harvest right. a fruit you really have to plant right right okay thank you teacher Chris for that so the homeschooling follow a structured schedule just like the regular schooling so ito nga po yung sinasabi natin kanina it is very ideal to still take stick to our routine to enable the family to draw boundaries between school time and play or free time. But homeschool is very flexible depending on the family's availability, lifetime, lifestyle, and schedule. So can we ask for advisors help when we find the lesson a bit difficult to explain? So the answer to that is yes. Schedule for parent-teacher consultation will be provided. Will there... Okay. But I would also like to make a clarification the role of the homeschool advisor is to support, uh, to, support to suggest, to guide. He will never teach. Yeah, okay? hindi po magtuturo. He will not take place right, the role right. of a teacher. Yeah. He will just be the teaching uh, a go-to person right. of, the, of the, the teaching parent. Right. But the homeschool advisor will never 
do the the instruction yeah. the learning activity so just to be clear yeah okay can we ask for the advisor's help when we find a lesson? Oh, sorry, ito na yun. Will there still be awards and honor rules? Actually, teaching parents will be the teachers of the children. Hence, kayo po ang nakakakilala. Hindi po namin sila pwedeng bigyan ng awards and honors or whatever, extrinsic rewards. Kayo po ang, ang may kilala at kayo po ang tanging may karapatan para malaman at magbigay ng awards na yun. You may give them rewards based on your family's preference. Actually, meron po akong uh, kilala recently. Ang cute-cute po nila kasi nag-moving up ceremony sila. Tapos sobrang uh, effort talaga si mommy and daddy. Talagang uh, parang gumawa sila ng parang mini function hall. Tapos parang may theme pa yata sila. Pero talagang may mga awards. Kasi syempre as a homeschooling family, mas ang, ang goal mo is parang uh, since most of us lumaki tayo sa traditional school parang gusto pa rin natin talaga magkaroon ma-experience ng mga anak natin yung na-experience din natin na na parang na-excite tayo nung yes. nag tayo sa traditional school setting so that's very cute so nasa yeah. sa inyo po yun wala po tayong awards but meron po tayong grades at yun po yung grades na ipapasok natin sa LIS all right is play is play program more beneficial for both child and parents compared to fly and safe? Actually, wala po kami sa, sa katayuan, sa possession. To answer this, kasi po magde-depend po talaga iyon. Sa, sa preference. ng family. Lifestyle. Lifestyle. Kung ano po yung mag-work. Learning needs. Learning needs. Family. Right, right. Meron pong ibang mga parents naman. They, sometimes they have this strong... Actually, lalo na pag malalaki eh, kailangan involved mo na yung mga bata doon sa decision. Yes, yes. Minsan tinatanong, gusto nyo bang mag-homeschool? Minsan naman, ang, ano nila, they still want to see their classmates. So, si parent, back to regular programming, they will enroll to fly and safe. Or pag naman nagsabi... Pero usually po kasi pag bata pa yung mga bata, talagang tayo yung nagde-decide for them. Kanya-kanyang yes. paniniwala. Kanya -kanya. Right, right. So, is homeschool the school's e-learning program? Ito po, a big no. Our e-learning modes are the fly, sagradan, and safe program. So, yes. kung hindi nyo po, hindi po kayo naka-attend at interesado kayo, please feel free to send a message to our F MDSF FB page para po mabigyan kayo ng assistance. Will our child be required to join online meetings or classes? So, definitely no. There will be a monthly huddle with the students per level for socialization and kumustahan purposes, but your child is not required to join. So maybe once the pandemic is over for next school year, this online meeting huddle can be face to face. To face yes. Para talagang socialization talaga siya. Yes, because um in other homeschooling schools or in other homeschooling providers in Manila, what they do uh, during the pre-pandemic was they, um, meet. they would meet yeah. regularly. Talaga meron silang small circles. Mm -hmm. Uh, different if, levels. Different levels. If they want their children to play games, if they want their field children trip. to do a field trip, right. they organize yes, these, yes. Uh, these uh, things by themselves. Uh, Doon po na bubuo yung tinatawag na learning community. Right, that's right. Kasi <clears throat> ikaw din, pwede kang mamili kung sino yung mga mag influence sa anak mo. Right. And in, like actually, in Facebook, there are a lot of support groups talaga. Yes. As in. Actually, teacher <clears throat> guy, I think what our interested families are experiencing now are information overload right, about right. because they are uh they are expected to digest and everything and decide right. before august <laughs> actually parent teacher kiss i'm so happy noon yung siguro yung iba nawawala sa atin kasi i was telling teacher kiss a while ago nako baka yung iba kasi akala nila may teacher yung homeschooling natin so, sabi ko, I will be expecting pag sinabi natin wala, baka leave, ano na, leave conference. Oh, or leave room na. na. Pero, yeah. mga interesado yeah. talaga. And it's, it's, it parents. makes my heart super happy. Ano okay. po? So, is the school going to provide the teaching materials? The school will provide the following learning materials. One textbook per subject and access to Scholastics Online Prime English. You can Google that, yung Scholastics Online Prime English para magka-idea po sila. Pro. The Lit Pro. 
and optional parents may opt to look for supplemental teaching and learning materials for their children. Do you accept Filipino citizen students living abroad? Definitely yes. Pero kailangan po kayo po ay Filipino citizen. Yan po yung kagandahan natin ngayon. Kailangan may birth certificate. Right. The enrollment requirements and procedure are the same with the students living in the Philippines. Will you be giving academic weekly planner? Ito po yung kaninang uh, binidiscuss namin. At kung may naka-attend po ng fly and safe, ito po yung pinakita ni Teacher Chris. Are you going to give AWP with all the learning activities in it, just like the one that will be given in Fly or Safe programs? Yeah. Ang answer po is no. Ito po yung main difference, one of the big differences nung, nung Fly, Safe, and Play program. Academic Weekly Planner will be given to Fly and Safe program and programs and rules. Teaching parents will be the ones to design the learning activities and experiences for their children. Again and again, Talagang kayo po ang maging teachers. Will teaching parents be taught how to plan for the learning activities and assessment? Yes. yes. This is part of the training among parents which will be provided by, by the, the school. Schools. And it will be facilitated by our teachers right. as well because right. they are our curriculum right. experts. Actually, we are so proud of them. Sobra po. At meron din actually para po sa mga credible um, homeschooling families, they will we will be asking them to also do talks para, yes. you know, support emotionally. Alam mo yes. yan? Yes, and sa also do uh, teach technology. Right, right, yes. right. How long is the school year days of the homeschool program? Katulad lang din po ng Fly and Safe. Yes. Sasabay po tayo Opa, sa kanila. Meron din po kayong bakasyon. Right. You also have the option uh, not to do schooling on weekends. You also have Nasa the inyo po yun. Yes. Nasa yes. inyo po yun. Can my children have different learning modalities? Example, si grade 8 ay nasa safe. Tapos si grades 3 and 4, dahil siguro kaya-kaya pa to ni mommy or ni daddy, enrolled naman sila sa play. It's a big yes. Why is flexible procurement of book options not applicable in play? Yan po, in dinescuss namin kanina kasi nga po, ito po yung pang-ensure ng school na may learning materials talaga kayong ginagamit kasi hindi po namin kayo lagi-laging makikita. Alright, for the uh, inclusion po ng ating program fee, if you can see, ang registration and miscellaneous po natin ay 6,500. Why? Kasi po, ang pinakamalaki din po dyan ay yung learning management system natin kasi meron po tayong sariling learning management system. Account. Magkakaroon po kayo na sariling account that that is also parang bundled with the MDSF yes. portal wherein para po tayong parang uh, mag, nag i email or dun din po isa sa mga communication channel ni yes. parent and ni teacher. Na, dyan po namin i-upload lahat, even videos. Ito pong ano natin, uh, mga training natin, we can yes. also upload there. Yes, actually, uh, Teacher Kai and I just had this idea yeah. uh, yesterday uh, no this this afternoon that uh, in order for the parents to be fully equipped of the technicalities of homeschooling for every training session uh, the videos that will be uh, done uh, it will be accompanied by a video and the resource fee so para po yung mga, mga, mga parents natin mapapanood po yung mga training videos na to from time to time right, they will be right. uploaded in the school's learning management right, right. that's right teacher Chris so yung tuition fee naman po natin yan yung advisory fee course outline and parent training and assessment and then for the learning materials we've been telling it we've been mentioning it a while ago textbooks and scholastics Online Prime English. Yan po yung kasama natin. Actually, may iba teachers nga na nagugulat na kasama din yung scholastic dun sa, ano natin eh, sa, yes. ho, sa play natin. Kasi nakita namin yung need, lalo na po itong pandemic, kailangan natin ng may ma-access online. Oh, yes. Kasi ang scholastic po, it's not an open educational resource kasi hindi siya for free. Yes. So, dahil nga po, ang taas din naman nung talagang quality ng mga books nila. Yes. And kasama then, uh, na po these siya. are... The kindergarten. This is the tuition fee for the kindergarten. kindergarten. Uh, sa ating tuition fee, as the level goes up, tumataas, tumataas. po siya. However, actually, kaya kung makikita nyo po, tumataas siya. Why? Dahil lang po dun sa learning materials. Kasi yung inclu included na books, padami ng padami. padami ng padami. Actually, parang if I'm not mistaken, but you can actually, all the parents yata were able to, ano na, to receive the the schedule of fees, parang sa grade 6, it's like roughly mga 25,000. Parang ganun okay. po. Yun na yung mataas. Right. Pero registration and tuition fee, they're all the same. Okay. So what is MBSF Learning Management System? Yan po yung binabanggit namin kanina na yan po yung para magiging platform natin for communication, 
may yeah. times po na uh, meron po kami maaring si teacher po pero it's not ano ah madalas pero may times po na pwedeng magbigay din po si advisor ng paunti-unting study notes if needed lalo na pag hindi nakita dun sa book yes. ipo-provide po natin yon so ayan na po yung kanina natin sinabi textbooks and scholastics online prime english so eto po yung kanina ko po mention na what is the most one of the most uh, uh, important uh, ingredients para sa recipe ng homeschooling, no? Ang talagang isa po ay yung talagang integrity of the parents or the teaching parents. Kasi po ngayon po na, na kayo ang mag-grade. Huwag po nating ipa-feel sa mga bata na, you know, there's a competition outside or mawawala yan eh. Mape-pressure. Keep it fun. Yeah. Actually, may question po sa akin. Sabi nila, um, is it possible to do homeschooling? Like, sabihin na natin na from 8 to 5 po yung work namin mag-asawa. Tapos, pag, pag uwi namin, um, tsaka na lang sila tuturuan. With all honesty, yun po something to really, really discern yes. and think about. Kasi po, um, actually, ang pinaka-importante po na isa sa pinaka-importante goals ng homeschooling is as you educate your children, it's gonna be relationship over academics. And time. Oh, yeah. Uh, baka po kasi 8 to 5, ipipilit ni parent para lang, you know, para lang makapag-homeschool sila. Pero, in, konting hindi maget ng bata, pipitik tayo, tapos medyo parang baka, alam niyo yun, um, mamaya po meron din pong magsasalita about it na talagang yes. it's really an education more yes. of sa parents yes. eh. Teacher Kai, di ba yun yung pinag-uusapan natin na if you are a working parent and well, we all know that we are undergoing a pandemic, a challenging situation now. If you are a working parent or you are in the process of just rebuilding your business or medyo stressful sa work at the moment, I think it is not that... Uh, uh, hindi, hindi recommended for you to do uh, homeschooling because uh, kailangan talaga you are 100% available yeah. for your children. Right. They can't have a teacher who is already tired. Yeah. Yung kamukha ng sinasabi yeah, mo before yeah. na I don't want my children to have left over yeah. of what's, my left? what's uh -oh. left of my time. Right. I want my children to to get what get, get the best of right, me, right. what I can offer to That's them. right. Kaya po namin din sinasabi to para po at least before you really jump into this homeschooling journey, at least ito po yung mga kailangan na na mga parang deciding factors yes. natin to consider. Ang sinasabi po namin integrity, Scott dan thought, why is integrity very important in homeschooling and why will it come in the picture? Actually kahit po sa fly and safe ngayon kasi po dito po ngayon sa play tayo ang mag, mag Tayo lang talaga ang mag-grade nung, nung ibang mga, uh, ano to, ibang mga, what do you call it, indicators dun sa grading system. So, talaga pong, um, kumbaga, ayaw natin eh, it's like parang robbing them from having this authentic learning than helping them. We might be hurting them than helping them. So, yes. ang pinakamaganda po dito talagang yung integrity yung teaching them the character, yun po yung parang pinaka-main core ng homeschooling na makikita po natin dito sa mga papanood din po nating video. Hi, my name is Matthew and this is my wife. Hi, I'm Reina. And uh, we have two young boys, Liam, age 7, and Luke, age 5. And we've been homeschooling our boys uh, ever since they were in preschool. And one of the things that we really enjoy about homeschooling uh, is the opportunity to really invest in their life in a more personal way. Uh, I'm a pastor and I also appreciate the flexibility that we have uh, with homeschooling. Sometimes being involved in ministry, uh, life can get a little bit busy. So we do appreciate that aspect, but I think the hands-on investment uh, that we can give and make in the life of our, our boys is very important to us. Uh, the Bible says that uh, we should train up our children in the way they should go. And when they are old, they will not depart from it. And so we believe it's very important for us as parents uh, to embrace that responsibility and even in this way of instructing them and teaching them in their academic life. 
We have a great curriculum that we use that uh, helps us and uh, it's really important that we are there as their parents to also guide and direct them in a more hands-on personal way. succeed in their academics, but more than that, we want our boys um, to develop um, their character, and to be boys who are honest, and um, to have integrity, um, especially in their, in their work. Yes, I, of course, again, would like them to have good grades and everything, but if they're going to be cheating or lying on what they're doing, um, that's not going to help them in the future. I think that's honestly going to hurt them more than help them in in the future and as adults um, as they get older. Yeah, we, we love to think about the moral formation and the values that we can uh, help instill in the life of our children in a more practical way um, because it is true that uh, academics are important but we believe that character is the most important thing. And we do have a good, solid, academically based curriculum, uh, so I'm not minimizing the importance of academics at all. Uh, however, if the goal is only to have good grades and there's not a lot of concern uh, in the character and attitude of the child, uh, then I think we've missed the purpose. So homeschooling really helps us to uh, major on what's really important. Uh, we feel that a good solid uh, education is important, but more than that, we want our boys to grow up to be uh, God-fearing young men who have good morals, values, and a, a Christ-like attitude. Um, I decided to do homeschooling because Una, may nakita lang talaga ako sa family na lahat ng kids niya yung homeschool niya. Tapos, na-impress talaga ako dun sa mga bata. Una, na-impress dahil nag english So, medyo mababaw kayo. Pero nung no, I zoom in to their, because this family became a close friend of mine up till now, na-amaze talaga ako sa character ng mga bata, sa independence ng mga bata, at saka the way they think. So, ngayon, may sarili na akong family at may anak ako. I, I really thank God kasi ganun din yung husband ko. Parehas kami ng acceptance sa homeschooling. So, siya rin, gusto-gusto niya yung idea na i-homeschool yung mga ko. Kaya nung nagkaanak kami, nag-meeting kami dalawa, patungkol namin. Kasi nga, it's so, pwede kasi yung principle nung homeschool, yakapin mo kasi may nakikita ka ng fruit. No? Pero, pag habang sisimulan mo siya, parang madali ka rin, ah, wag na lang kaya, parang ganun. Pero nung nag-meeting talaga kaming mag-asawa, about this and really uh, sat down, talked about our goal and the why. Mas naging malalim. Hindi na siya about, kasi impressive yung mga bata, hindi siya ganun. It really boils down to foundation na gusto namin parehas na maipasa sa aming anak. Siyempre, gusto-gusto namin maipasa sa kanya yung pagmamahal kay God, yung word ni God, yung pag-worship kay God. Kasi I'm a musician, I also want to pass that on to my children. And yung love for the country. So, yun yung tat tatlong bagay na parang naging why or yung purpose namin. Hi everyone, my name is Carmen and I'm a homeschool mom of Jojo who is 9 years old. Here is my son. Hi. <laughs> Say hi. Hi. Do you love homeschooling? Okay, why? Because I get to spend time with him. Okay. When Jojo started schooling, we decided to do homeschool because we want to build a strong foundation for him and we want him to learn in an environment where his character will be built while he's learning the academics. And we also believe that the formative years are very criti critical and during that time, kids are like a sponge. So they will just take in whatever is being taught to them. So we want that opportunity to build stronger foundation for him. And there are three things that I love about homeschooling and that is quality time, flexibility, and intentionality. So for quality time, Obviously, we get to spend more time with our son and because of that, we were able to know his interests, his likes, his dislikes, how he uh, interacts with other people, so we get to know him better. And my son loves building Lego so much, how he wants to be a builder or an architect or an engineer in the future and we are supportive of that. Um, another thing is flexibility. Since there are times that our family needs to go somewhere, it is easy for us to, to just uh, have him have him along with us and we take that an opportunity for him to learn 
So the world is his classroom. Like for example, we went to Ilocos and when we went to the museum, we studied about history. So like the past presidents of the Philippines so as an opportunity for him to learn. And then um, I also love intentionality. One of the things that we found is important uh, as parents uh, that is often maybe one of the most ha the hardest things to, to have is patience. Um, I know in homeschooling your patience will be tested, uh, but it's something that uh, we are also uh, learning to have and develop more and more when you are, as a parent are forced to uh, answer questions that your child might have about a particular topic or subject, um, it's important to have patience with them. Uh, they're learning, they're developing, they don't know everything yet. They are in the process of learning and having that education. So uh, we try as best as we can to extend patience with them, uh, not always perfectly, but uh, that's a very important thing to think about uh, as you approach this uh, opportunity of having homeschooling. Number one, ako mismo yung unang mahilito. If you're more concerned about your child being well-educated, <laughs> uh, homeschooling your child will, first and foremost, educate you. So, yes, the children will grow more closer to you as, a, as their parent and teacher. And as they grow, ikaw rin bilang, up, bilang parent na grow pa on how to become a better mother to your child, a better friend to your child, or a better coach to your child, a better teacher to your child, a better playmate to your child. So, I think this is one character that you will have. Be excited to learn and grow doing this. That's one thing that I value. Starting nung 3 years old siya, parang nursery, kinder 1, kinder 2, tapos grade 1. Ngayon, year na to, grade 2 na siya. Another is, of course, yung patience. Yun nga, yan yung igugrow sa iyo ng Panginoon. And of course, kasi maraming sabi, kung hindi ka teacher, paano mo tuturuan yung anak mo? Yan yung isang igugrow sa atin bilang magulang. Na kahit naman sabi mong hindi ka teacher, may, na, may naituturo ka sa anak mo. Sa ayat mo, sa gusto. <laughs> Ang pinagkaiba lang as a homeschooler parent is that you'll get to sit down and plan to teach your child certain things. Pero kahit hindi ka magplano as a parent, you are teaching your child already. A good thing as a homeschooler, if your mind will be opened up to this wisdom that, oh nga no, I'm a parent and whether I like it or not, meron akong naituturo sa anak na kahit hindi ko gusto. Something that you model. Minsan, hindi mga tinuturo yung mga bagay na pag ganyan, pero nakukuha nila yun. Kaganyanan ka rin niya. So, yun ang unang-unang uh, nakita ko sa anak ko eh. Nung ginanon niya ako, sabi ko, saan mo natutunan yan? Tapos nakita ko yung sarili ko. Sa akin pala niya natutunan yun. <laughs> yan siguro yung tandaan natin bilang magulang. No? Whether you like it or not, we are teaching our child. Ang kagandahan, if you start homeschooling your child, you'll get to be intentional on what you want to teach your child. Yeah. You just have to have a you humble heart, eager na matuto, empty cup ka talaga bilang magula, so that your child will be an empty cup as well, willing to teach matuto. Since we want to build a strong foundation, our lessons uh, go around the values that we have as a family. So our surname is Likud. L-I-C-U-D and our values are Lordship, Integrity, Compassion, Unity, and Discipleship. So for Lordship, we teach him about faith. Jojo has developed a habit to read his Bible every day and do his journal. And we teach him about faith like praying not just for our family or for the things that he wants but also praying for other people and for um, integrity. For him to be a good leader, we teach him that it, it is important that he could be trusted. And also, honesty, honesty is very important. I know most of the parents are worried that when their children become a teenager, will they open up with us? So as, as young as he is, we're training him to be open with us no matter what things are bad or good, that we will be there for him and we'll just listen to him. So my son is very honest, so I appreciate that about him. And then, compassion, so that is caring for other people and loving other people as well. During this quarantine, we have this garden uh, at the side of our house and we, we use that to bless the neighbors. And intentionally, we ask Jojo to, to, um, to, to 
to serve and to, to share that to our neighbors as well. So for unity, um, as, our, as one value of our family also, we talk about that all the time. When we have our family meetings on Monday, uh, we involve him with the decision making of the things that he can comprehend and um, so also in making decisions like for the rules that we have as a family and also things like that, only the things that he can comprehend. That as a family, we will have one goal, one mind, one prayer, and we will agree on things that we need to do for the week or even for the long-term plans that we have. And discipleship, like um, he knows that it is important that other people should know God as well. So as young as he is, he's leading his own victory group or Bible study group at home, which I think um, he was able to learn because of homeschooling, because he, he can also see the value that we have as our family and we were able to impart that with him. I have been teaching my boys since they were in preschool, um, but one of the main things or tips that I can try to help you guys um, with is to try to set up a routine um, so that at least they are familiar with what to do um, and usually I try to do it after their breakfast uh, right away in the morning um, and I, as the mom um, I'm their main <clears throat> excuse me main teacher um, but I think it would be good to try to incorporate um, the dad to help maybe even if it's something if he's busy working but um, you know, he's home in the afternoon or evening, maybe that could be their child's PE time and um, at least dad's included and it's not just mom um, doing all of the uh, academics. But I would also say, of course, just be flexible. Um, things change and uh, just be willing to help um, or adjust the schedule if need be. Um, and of course, just make it, make it fun for your kids. Um, because you don't want to just be so strict and um, you know be on them all the time that oh this is what you're doing wrong or this is not how you do it but try to and like what my husband had said to yes be patient that's a big part of it but um, you want this to be a fun experience for your kids you don't want them to have to or want to, them to hate school so those are some practical things that I could just think yeah, learning should be fun. So as much as possible, uh, we don't want them to have a negative attitude towards school and learning, even in a homeschool environment. So there are, uh, you have the freedom as a homeschooler or as a parent to be creative as well. Uh, there may be uh, restrictions that a formal schooling environment uh, provides that in a homeschool setting you don't have e even as something as simple as the place where they learn uh, sometimes we, we do allow them to go outside and and have their their curriculum and teach them there or uh, to, to provide that variety and, and trying our best to incorporate different uh, ways to make it enjoyable for them uh, but we believe as parents we have a responsibility um, as mom and dad uh, to to raise our children and train our children and that's a responsibility that is a very heavy and big responsibility, but we believe it's a God-given responsibility. Um, God has blessed us with two wonderful boys and we're so thankful for that. And so we wanna do what we can uh, to invest in their life and guide them and direct them to the best that we, we can with, with God's help uh, so that they can become uh, the young men uh, and adults that God wants them to be. So if you're considering uh, homeschooling or thinking about that, um, I don't want you to be discouraged that it might be a mountain too big to climb. Um, I believe that it's worth it and it's something that uh, you will treasure and also learn to enjoy spending those moments with, with your children. So uh, we pray that uh, as you continue to consider this, that God would guide you and give you wisdom uh, in any decision that you would have to make. So God bless you and thank you for this opportunity. Thank you. Job, this is my son. Oh, I'm Job, and I'm six. I'm six years old, and I like homeschooling because because it's fun for me. I like homeschooling because there's smooth papers, and I like then studying. I like. Geometry, 
What? Geometry? I like geometry. It's just your new book. Uh. What do you love about me? Uh, Color me. Okay. What's your advice for children who wants to do homeschooling? Anong dapat nilang character pag sila ay nag-homeschool? Character nila dapat mahilig mag-start. Dapat hindi mahilig mag-gadget kasi mag-iba yung character. Pinili na natin yung, yung isang character yung study. Study? Anong kailangan mo pag nag-study? Pag kailangan natin ay kailangan natin mag-learn kasi para magkaroon tayo ng food para mabuhay tayo. <laughs> yes. Okay. So, say, Bye. God bless. God bless. Pagpag-pray mo sila sa mga gusto mag-homeschool. Lord, I pray mag-homeschool sila in Jesus' name. Amen. <laughs> Sige. Thank you, anak. Bye! So, I think one of the concerns that homes that parents are thinking about homeschooling is socialization because they're thinking, oh, oh, who, who's gonna be my child's my child's friend? But I think that's an advantage for us because my uh, JoJo's friends are usually my friend's children. And since they they are my friend's children, I know that, that my son is playing with kids who have the same values as we are. So, uh, I think that's all for now. I hope it helps. Bye! Wow. One, two. The name of of G. Basically, in a nutshell, ang talagang sinabi lang po talaga nila ay uh, before jumping into this um, homeschooling journey, you have to really pray about it. Kung mapapansin nyo po, yung pong uh, mga families na, 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 na nag-share sa atin ng, ng videos nila, sila po ay mga family na mga uh, church leaders, yung mga kailangan talaga na me- medyo flexible. Tapos, they highlighted po talaga yung mga Bible verses. Also, uh, since ang school po natin ay non-sectarian, so um, we really accept all uh, uh, families from different religions. So, sila po ay uh, talagang sinasabi nila yung pinaka-core. Um, they do not demean yung weight ng, ng, uh, okay. ng academics. However, may mas malalim pa po kasi na purpose. At yun po, ito pong mga nag-share sa atin, sila po yung mga nag-homeschool na ng napakatagal at nag-homeschool ng more than one child. So, talagang sinasabi po nila na before really jumping into this um, homeschooling journey, uh, pagdasal natin siyang mabuti, 
uh, it's really a commitment. It's not just, you know, our family's contingency plan because of the pandemic. It's really not something na gagawin lang namin para, you know, dahil medyo hindi maganda ang ano ngayon, ang, ang income ng family, medyo para makamura kami. Uh, but, you know, if you have those reasons, we really highly uh, respect them. However, there has to be a bigger yeah, purpose. there has to be a bigger purpose why 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 you're gonna homeschool. Sabi ko nga po, it's a family thing. But some, you know, teacher Chris, would you believe there are also families? Yung mga single, uh, yung mga single parents, uh, they do it. As in, sometimes may mga working. Actually, I attended the the Philippine homeschooling conference. Nitong May na to, it's a five day conference. May mga nag ano doon, may mga nag share doon ng mga single parents, working sila na nagawa nila na itawid nila. Siguro talaga kasi nandun po talaga yung yung strong commitment, strong drive, yung may driving force sila mas malalim. It's really not just because of this pandemic, but then because this is, you know, what their family thinks will be best for their family. So, I'm just so glad na kanina po sinabi ni Teacher Chris yung ano, yung yung aking story. Would you believe talaga po na ko miracle din po sa amin yung homeschool pag yung pag pag serve ng homeschool na to. Ako na yung nagbigay ng testimonial no Teacher Chris. Pero uh, para po kasi ano, uh, nung time po kasi na sinasabi ni Teacher Chris na gusto naming mag-homeschool, there was a big question in my mind. How am I gonna how am I gonna how am I gonna homeschool our children or choose this as the mode of education? Eh parang kontra siya dun sa mission vision ng school kasi baka po parang baka of course as one of the ano administrators they might think that I'm not really believing in the in the product or in, in the service that we give our community. However, I'm just so glad that you know parents in our community are slowly uh, but surely opening their minds of uh, about this kind of uh, education or yung mode of education na possible po to and 101% I will assure you that it works. However, as we go along the way, we will be learning a lot of things about our families, about the technicalities, about each other also. And I believe that through this partnership bilang yung, yung, yung kami po ang homeschool provider ninyo, uh, we will really assure you that this is going to be a learning community. Uh, at we, sa katulad po ng Fly and Safe, we cannot please everybody. But uh, ang iniisip po namin ay talagang parang uh, magkatulungan po tayong lahat dito sa, sa, sa nangyari sa atin. At as one, babangon po tayo. So maraming maraming salamat po for, for listening. Um, thank you very much. If you have uh, further questions yes, about the, the program, the floor is now open. We have ten more minutes. Yes. If you, uh, to our, to our dear parents, if you have any more questions, uh, again we apologize for the technical difficulty. But once we have secured the permission from these uh, families, we will be, uh, we will be sending the videos to you. Yeah. So if you have. If you have further questions, you can actually ask here. Okay. Okay. We are waiting for qu questions. You can um, type them all in the chat box. Right. Maybe some of you. And and teacher, because you know what? Actually, for those uh, families who are who are planning to do homeschooling, I would highly suggest no. Napakadami pong support groups na meron sa Facebook, and read also about homeschooling. Actually, maraming maraming pong mga uh, teaching approach. Uh, yan po mga, uh, hindi ko muna po sila itatouch kasi po yan po yung mga sasabihin natin dun sa, sa part 2 ng ating um, orientation. So, alright. Is it advisable to do homeschooling for a dyslexic student? Yeah. By all means, do it if you think that's the best for your child. Kasi po, uh, actually, for, for dyslexic, pero uh, I believe po for children with special needs, um, kung hindi pa ganun ka-equipped si parent dun yes. sa teaching approach na gagawin niya, yes. maaari po na meron mo na silang i-outsource yeah, na other person. help yes. when it comes to yung, yung uh, na, na, magta, magta, magtutulong sa kanila to target the specific educational yes. needs ng bata. But yes. then, by all means, do it. Okay. Actually po, research shows 
sobrang laki po ng ng magiging tulong ng homeschooling sa mga children with special needs kasi si parents eh. eh right yes um uh, mrs bylot bylosis uh, regarding your question also um you also need to before uh, deciding on this uh, kasi po there is a different method of teaching um uh, teaching concepts to the dyslexic right. students you have to be equipped with siguro po you can attend muna a, a workshop or yeah. a training on how to teach reading right. math because it's science difference to dyslexic dyslexic student. po kasi yes. sa reading siya sa pagbabasa po siya yes. so meron pong mga uh, mga pamamaraan kung paano kailan po mag-start ang interview for play actually we will be posting it in our FB page kung kailan po yung start na pwede nang mag-enroll kanina po sinabi ko sa inyo if you feel like you're more comfortable enrolling your children once na mai out na po namin yung officially we are uh, DepEd accredited but then i i mentioned it to you ang uh, nag-submit na po tayo ng lahat ng papeles na kailangan nila and Malaki po yung sinasabi nila na talagang dahil nga po sa pandemic, mas bumibilis po kasi Last ngayon sa DepEd. Okay. So, very good naman po tayo ng DepEd dun sa sinabmit natin na paper. Yes. Are we required to teach a student, student a certain, certain amount, amount of time? Wala Three po. Hours. Actually, nasa sa inyo po yon Ang kailangan lang po, at least maging ready siya to take the exam. Kunyari po, yung pinakita natin na sample course outline, that's for first quarter. So, at least before the test date, ma-cover ma nyo na po lahat yun. Pero po kung kailan nyo gagawin, dun sa first quarter na yun, nasa sa inyo po yun. Kung gusto nyo, minsan, grade 3, grade 4 ang anak ninyo, 2 hours nyo lang tuturuan, wala pong problema. Okay. She's already in grade 2 and going grade 3, she has good grades naman. Is it okay to do home-based e-learning or homeschooling? Again, it's, it's, up, to you. it's up to you. Right. Kaya nga po may series of trainings po tayo. We want to make sure that we have already presented everything to you and it will be the decision of the parent. Now, if you are a stay-home mom and you have the strong desire to teach, you have this inclination to teaching, you know, all the resources, then you may give it a try. Right, okay. right. Does the scholarship grant also applicable for a safe Fly or Fly safe. safe. Uh, the when you say scholarship grant, mm. we are giving scholarship grant for the top one and two students of MDSS per grade yes. level. So we it is applicable for the Fly and Safe program, but not for the Play program. Not for the Play. Okay. Right. Ano pa po yon? Ano pa pong mga questions? All right. Okay. Okay. So actually, Teacher Chris, yung pung video natin will be ah we will be sending you the link. Then i upload po natin sa YouTube. But then for as ah may duration po tayo para po at least if you would like to be ah you know inspired and motivated. Marami po kasi sila mga shinere don na mga pieces of advice para po before tayo mag ano mag ah decide mag i finalize natin decision natin. Thank you very much yes, for Mrs. everyone. Mangalos, thank you so much for the well wish. Right, yes, right. Uh, thank you so we much. Find oh, the wise in deciding to Mrs. School. Isaac is here. Yes. Thank you very much po. Basta oh po, yes, of course. Po, anything for the Sagrada Right, 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 right. At talaga pong sabi ko nga po, we will rise as okay. one yes. together. When you conduct the parent training, will it be like one by one? It's an online, online meeting, po. Meeting yeah, like it's an online meeting. Kaya po, uh, mas maganda po as early as now. Equip yourself, uh, since because the ball is now in your hands. Try to read about homeschooling. Try to watch videos about homeschooling. Ah, uh, dito po from Sir Elar. I have two children. My first is in coming grade twelve. The others in coming grade two. Actually, po sir, yung pung ating um, homeschool program is until grade six. Pamuna po yes. for this ano yes, for this sir, school year. Because grade for grade seven and twelve, tama po kayo. Uh, highly specialized na highly po kasi, specialized. kasi sila, and we cannot assure you na if you will enroll in our homeschool program, we can give you the the necessary resources. Yeah. Oh, this is um, there's attorney Ayesa. Hello. Yes, hi. Yes, yeah, uh, she's a homeschooling mom, yes. and she rocks. Yes, <laughs> requirement right. po ang pro ang diploma. Yes, yes. Uh, uh, T O R, yung T O R nila. Yes, 
Thank you. Thank you very much po. Thank you our dear uh, parents. We uh, we are really looking forward to being of service to you. Basta po um, anything any educational related concern that you have, we are always here our ICT department. They're very responsive to all your uh, questions, inquiries, concerns. They are always there to assist you. Basta po nasa office hours po tayo. Yung sinabi nilang from Mondays to Saturdays from 8 until 4. Open na open po tayo to answer questions. And if you, I will be sending here my my um, email. Yes. So if you have further because questions, Teacher you can... Kai is our head pro program head. Yes, you can yes. ask me. All right. Ayan All po. Right. Thank you very much. Thank you for spending your time. God bless po. Bless Maraming salamat pass. po. God bless po. Bye.